Welcome, Earth-loving viewers, to our noble lineage. Last week, we met Dr. Russell K. Elevin, a distinguished minister of the Unitarian Universalist Association of Congregations, or UUA, from the United States, who is also a professional counselor, educator, and a committed vegan. His caring and open-minded approach has made him a cherished leader at the Westside Unitarian Universalist Church in Fort Worth, Texas, USA, where he serves a congregation of 200 people. Meanwhile, Dr. Elevin reaches out to hundreds more people, especially through the internet, to promote a vegan lifestyle. Previously, Dr. Elevin shared his compelling story of his two struggles with life-threatening cancer and how both experiences deepened the connections he made with the plant-based diet. At the age of 13, I was able to look in those cows' eyes and, and realize that there was more there going on than what I had been told by other people. And I knew at age 13 that I shouldn't be eating animals. Um, and it was at the same time that I had cancer. Uh, they say, said that it went from my elbow to about my shoulder in six weeks, and that if we didn't do something drastic, uh, that it would take my life. I really struggled for survival. I really wanted to live. And you see that with animals too. Whatever we do to them, whatever harm we put them through, that all they want to do is live. In 2004, after Dr. Elevin was diagnosed with colorectal cancer, through his own research, he began a vegan diet, which helped him to overcome the illness and regain his health. But to Dr. Elevin, more important than his own personal health is the need to stop animal cruelty and environmental destruction through better food choices. These same issues are also actively raised in the Unitarian Universalist Church. Obviously, this facet of your life has become very important to you, and you are very active promoting it, especially on Twitter. <laughs> what does veganism symbolize for you, and why do you consider it so important to raise awareness? Mm. There are a lot of folks who know me, who, of, who follow me on Twitter, but there are a lot of folks who don't know me at all, who have found me uh, because of my vegan emphasis in my tweets. I take part in a lot of things that are important to the Earth's health and to our health and to to a wide variety of issues. I may not preach about it every Sunday in the pulpit, although I think it would be very interesting uh, to have a Unitarian Universalist congregation that's based on ahimsa, that concept of doing no harm. Uh, I think that that church would look very interesting. The Unitarian Universalist Association is an open religious organization based on Jewish Christian roots. Membership is open to everyone, and all are encouraged to find their own spiritual paths while respecting one another's. Unitarian Universalism is a very progressive uh, religion. Today, in our congregations and societies and churches, you'll find folks who self-identify as UU Christians, so they identify as a follower of Jesus. You'll find folks who call themselves Unitarian Universalist Buddhists who uh, follow the Eightfold Path of Buddha. You will find folks who follow a more Earth-centered spirituality. A lot of folks who are humanist-leaning, who are non-theistic. Unitarian Universalism has evolved into a religion of its own where we can have people who find truth. We have seven principles and, and we have a, a variety of traditions that we pull upon. The Unitarian Universalist Association draws upon certain sources of faith. They include, among others, words and deeds of prophetic women and men which challenge us to confront powers and structures of evil with justice, compassion, and the transforming power of love, and spiritual teachings of Earth-centered traditions which celebrate the sacred circle of life and instruct us to live in harmony with the rhythms of nature. It is no wonder that throughout its history, 
The Unitarian Universalist Association has been at the forefront in promoting social and environmental justice as well as animal protection. There is a contingent that is saying we should not be eating animals at all. That we need to begin to recognize that these animals have worth and dignity in their own right, that they were not here for us, that they evolved for their own being and circumstance. So I think the voice within Unitarian Universalism is getting louder. I don't think you would find a UU today who doesn't know what veganism is. I would say within a whole uh, that there are more vegetarians and vegans within Unitarian Universalism as a percentage than other religious organizations that have come out of Christianity may have. I would like for Unitarian Universalism and for Christianity to look at this more as a way of stewardship. We obviously have the power on the earth to kill and to maim and to do harm. But we also can take that in a different way. If we are stewards of the earth and stewards of the animals uh, to take care of them in a way that's not been done uh, within our culture, particularly the Western culture. Today, the church houses the Unitarian Universalist Animal Ministry, or UUAM, dedicated to affirming the kinship and interdependence of all beings and adopting an ethic of interspecies compassion as an integral component of liberal religion. Are we and animals fundamentally the same? Are we all enlivened by the same thing? Mm. I don't speak uh, for Unitarian Universalism as a whole, but I do think I speak for a lot of people within Unitarian Universalism. Our UU ancestors used to talk about this divine spark that everyone has. And I would challenge just about anybody to watch a little kitten, a little puppy dancing around, playing around, to look in the eyes of that other animal and not see that divine spark. When you look into the eyes of another sentient being, I think you can see that divine spark. And when you see them play, and when you see mothers care for their young, I think that divine spark is there. And I think when we recognize that, we are much less likely to want to do those animals harm, to want to ingest them, to take them into our bodies. Um, when we can shift our belief just a little bit to recognize that divine spark that we've recognized in Unitarian Universalism, we've recognized in humanity. If we can progress a little bit more, I think we'll see it in animals as well. In fact, just this past Saturday, the, the church I serve held its first vegan potluck. Now we invited people outside of the church to attend. Uh, there are more and more ministers who are waking up uh, to this, um, but my hope is that Unitarian Universalism can progress further and see that divine spark that we were talking about. We've got a lot of people examining what we're calling ethical eating. The Unitarian Universalist Association currently distributes free of charge a comprehensive guide titled Ethical Eating, Food and Environmental Justice the following are excerpts. The call for a just, sustainable, humane world food system has never been louder. Scientific writings and popular media link our food production and distribution systems to climate change and the energy crisis, and uncover deep-seated problems with our agricultural infrastructure. As a result, many Unitarian Universalists are coming to perceive intricate connections between environmental concerns, economic justice, social justice, and food. Our Unitarian Universalist faith calls us to respond now to this crisis. We cannot continue to rely on a food system that uses more fossil fuel than any sector of the economy 
and emits more greenhouse gases than anything else we do. Nor can we support an inequitable system that does preventable harm to our planet and those who inhabit it. To do so when we could reasonably do otherwise would counter the principles at the heart of our faith. Share with us what a vegan world would look like. You know, one of the things that people come at me the most about with this is where would all the animals go? You know, if, if we stopped eating them, they would overrun us. And, and what they don't realize is, is how we force a lot of this breeding. Our ecosystem will not support what we're doing. But if, if, if I could pray, if I could hope uh, for a world that looked uh, vegan, it would be one where we have realized the limits of this planet that we live on. It would be one where everyone recognizes the inherent worth and dignity of everyone else, but it wouldn't stop there. It would also recognize the inherent worth and dignity of all sentient beings. And you and I would be sitting down to healthy meals of grains and beans and vegetables and fruits and know uh, that we were doing the right thing. People are becoming more and more awake to this issue. My prayer is that Unitarian Universalists can show other folks the way in this. The more of our folks who are involved in this, the more folks who are involved with this at all, I don't care what religion they are. If we all see the light, if we all see the divine spark within one another and animals, let's all make our voices heard. Dr. Russell Elevin continues daily to make his voice heard about more just and caring ways of living. He also wished to express his appreciation for Supreme Master Ching Hai's endeavors for a kinder world, such as through encouraging the Loving Hut International Vegan Restaurant. One of the most powerful experiences that I've had came at a Loving Hut restaurant, the one in Houston, Texas, where I was ordering I got to w recognize the woman behind the cash register and she recognized me as I would come in there. She asked me if I, if I was vegan and I said yes. And she said thank you. Nobody had said thank you uh, to me for uh, being vegan. So if I could say anything to Supreme Master Ching Hai, it would be thank you. Her influence has restaurants like the one we're in, like the one in Houston that I became so familiar with, her influence has caused that. Um, the literature that she encourages people to abstain from alcohol as well, that's a very positive message. It's every Tuesday night I work with a group of people who are trying to change addictive behaviors. I try to meditate every day. Her message is abundantly positive. And for that, I would say thank you very much. Our heartfelt thanks, Dr. Russell Elevin, for your work to inform and uplift people, both in your congregation and beyond, in their awareness of compassionate and sustainable ways of living. We also appreciate the forward-thinking Unitarian Universalists for raising vital awareness on animal sentience and ethical food choices as we join in looking forward to a saved and peaceful planet for all. For more information about Dr. Russell K. Elevin, please visit www.rke.cc and twitter.com forward slash R-E-V-R-U-S-S-1-1. For more information about the Unitarian Universalist Association of Congregations and its animal ministry, please visit uua.org.